Hello, this is Sal. In today's video, we will be talking about configuring IPsec VPN tunnel. Uh, in this uh, network here, we have router 1, router 2, and we have the ISP router on here in the middle. Uh, I configured the interfaces with the IP addresses shown by each interface. On router 1, I configured uh, the default route. And on router 2, I configured also the default route, but on the ISP router, I configured the static route to reach uh, to this uh, to route to this uh, network here and to this network here. And everything you will find it in det details in the description in this video. From now on, I will leave you always details about uh, the steps for the video I am going to be posting. So hopefully this will help you even more. So now on PCA, if we send the ping to this host here of 172, dot 16, dot 20, dot 20. You can see that we received a reply back. And now if we trace route to one seven, the same host, uh, sorry. You can see that it went, the traffic went, or the ping went through the default gateway to the next hub of 10.1.1.2, and then the following hub of 10.2.2.2 until it reached its destination. So now, in the other word, that our traffic from this network of 172, the 16.10.0 is going through or via the internet all the way until it reaches our destination. So it's not protected, it's not encrypted or encapsulated or secured. Now we will work on configuring an IPsec VPN tunnel between router one and router two. And as I said, you will find uh, the whole details of, uh, for this video in the description. Uh, on router one, enable configured terminal. The first thing we will do is to configure an access list to permit the traffic from one side of the network to the other side across the channel. Access list, extended access list, give it a number of 101. We want to permit IP traffic from, this is our source, this network, and this is our destination. And when we configure the access list with the inverse subnet mask. 172.16.10.0 and we're sublet mask of this and our destination is 172.16.20.0 and the inverse sublet mask of 000255 now uh, phase one which is ISAC camp policy first uh, crypto ISAC camp policy and uh, the priority of protection suite uh, numbers from 1 to 10,000, we will choose number 10 for this example. And now we want to configure authentication, encryption, group, hash, and the lifetime uh, for the IPsec, uh, sorry, for the ISEC camp policy. For authentication, free share, encryption, AES, Two five six hash sha group the helmet of five and the lifetime will choose sixty thousand seconds. Now let's do the key. The ISAC camp key exit here. Crypto ISAC camp key. The key. It's going to be unprotected in clear text, and this is the user password, and we'll choose Cisco address, and we will share this key with this, the peer IP address of this guy here, 10.2.2.2, 10.2.2.2. And so we configured the key, the ISACAMP key, and now uh, phase two, where they will configure the transform set. IPsec transform set. 
add the crypto IPsec transform set. Use it the VPN set and a, a ESP AES two five six bits e ESP SHA HMAC. Now the map creating the crypto map crypto map and we'll give it a name of VPN map and the sequence to insert into crypto map entry uh, give it number 10 and IP sec ISEC camp now our option is here to set values for encryption and decryption set the peer our peer here is the this guy 10.10.2.2 .10 .10 .2 .2. and the transform set the one we created the VPN set okay now uh, we want to apply the crypto map to the interface now we want it to match address of 101 uh, the access list exit now we want to apply crypto map to the interface here on router one so interface as zero one zero crypto map vp and map so it's telling us here the ISA camp is on So now let's uh, move to router three and we will do the same we did on router one enable configured terminal first we'll start with the access list of 101 we want to permit ip from this network of 172.16.20.0 with the inverse submit mask of 000255 and this is our destination here so 172.16.20.0 inverse of this mask of this and our destination of 172.16.10.0 with the inverse of this mask now phase one crypto ISA camp policy 10 now the authentication pre-share encryption AES 256 lifetime 60,000 hash of SHA in group the fulfillment of 5 as you noticed I did everything here on this phase uh, I said camp policy phase phase one uh, you know, it's not necessarily to do it, you know, in sequence, you know, just as long as you do them or configure them. Now let's do the key. Uh, crypto, ISA camp, key, and the key as we configured it of Cisco. And we want to share it with the address now. It is this address here of 10.1.1.1. 10.1.1.1 now phase two uh, IPsec transform set crypto IPsec transform set VPN set uh, ESP AES 256 
PSP show HMAC. Now we want to create the crypto map. Crypto map VPN map uh, 10 IP sec I second. Now we want to set the peer, the peer of this guy here on router 1, 10.1.1.1, 10.1.1.1, 10 set transform set, which is VPN set, uh, now to match, we want it to match the address of the access list we created of 101. Now it's time to apply it to the interface. Exit interface of we will apply it apply it here on S serial zero slash one slash one. Crypto map. Uh, VPN map exit here show crypto IPsec SA everything we configured here so now let us uh, run a ping from this guy to the other host or on uh, network 172.16.20.0 and as you see we received a reply but the difference between this time we ping and the la the previous time that the traffic is moving is through the tunnel secured encrypted and uh, authenticated so now if we run the trace route the same host and as you can see it went through the default gateway all the way here so nobody in the internet have any idea about our traffic moving here so our traffic is completely secure if you're on the same from this guy here ping 172.16.10.10 we received a reply now trace route trace route 172.16.10.10 and as you can see here it went through the sorry about that it went through the default gateway and all the way to the side and this was the next hop and then to its destination uh, to this host of PCA so the ISP, the routers, anybody in the internet has no idea about our traffic. So it is moving the traffic here to here, encrypted and secured. So let me run this command, this show crypto IP6 SA. And here, as you can see, packets encapsulated 16 packets encrypted and packets decapsulated 16 decrypted so everything uh, is secured now and as it should be and we also can run another command here so crypto we have options like the ISA cam what we configured. It's a the destination. This is from router one to our uh, the destination is here ten dot two dot two dot two. This is our source here. The state is in a quick mode. It's idle and it is active. The tunnel is active. And uh, you can you, I will. Put the, the, the details of this video in the description and I hope you learned something uh, from this video. Please, if you like it, subscribe to my channel 
and give me a thumb up and I will see you very soon in my next video. Have a nice day.